Now several people are coming together to help families burned out of their apartments in Scottsboro. They're collecting donations for families who lost just about everything in Tuesday's fire. Let's go now to WFO 48 Savannah Sapp live in Scottsboro. Savannah, you talk to those who are helping these fire victims. That's right, Liz. Members of the Goose Pond, Goose Pond Church of God are coming together to lend a helping hand. They tell me at least six people have lost all their belongings as a result of this fire, and they are wanting to help them pick up the pieces. This is the aftermath of a fire that destroyed multiple apartments at Greystone in Scottsboro. Members of the Goose Pond Church of God say six people are without adequate housing right now as a result of this fire, including the father of Julie Carlisle. Carlisle says her dad was able to escape the building just after the fire started. The fact that he was unharmed is everything. We can replace furniture and housing, but we can't replace our dad. Carlisle says she and fellow church members have been in contact with other families who lost everything in the fire. Uh, there is another household that had four, two of those. One of them is on a walker. The other one is not in the greatest of health and then a couple younger boys and then my dad. The church will be accepting donations for the family starting Monday. Carlisle says they are in need of home appliances, furniture, men's clothes of all sizes and food. She says they'll take anything the community is willing to give and many already have. But hundreds of people reaching out with comments and offering things. We've already had some donations that's been dropped off to my dad. Like we're hoping Monday when we have a designation to drop time and a place that will get more things and we can distribute that between all the families that were affected. Regina Douglas is the member who jump started the mission. She says they are doing this not for the recognition, but to change the lives of the victims. Our main goal is to make sure these gentlemen get in a home. They have everything they need and that they are taken care of. And we just want people to know that we're not here. We don't want you to see us. We want people to see the hands and feet of Jesus because that's what we're here for. We're here to help. Really heartwarming to see them coming together like that. Church members will begin collecting donations early Monday morning at their location on Bob Jones Road. We did reach out to the Scottsboro Fire Department to learn more about what started this fire, but at this time we have not heard back. Reporting live in Scottsboro, Savannah Sapp, 48 News on your side.